Paragraph control is just basically taking control of your paragraphs as they bridge the gap between pages. What I mean by that is that we got a paragraph that looks nice and neat at the bottom of page one. However, if I come up in here and let's say I type in more text and it keeps pushing the paragraph down, now the paragraph is being divided between at the bottom of page one and the top of page two. And we want to control that. Maybe we don't want to have our paragraph split like that. Maybe we want to keep the lines together. If we go back up, it doesn't look professional to have a line by itself. It needs to be either two or more lines at the top of a page or at the bottom of a page. We're going to cover all that in just a second, but let me go ahead and scroll back up and hit undo a couple of times. In fact, to cover the four options that we do have, we're going to go on the Home tab in the Paragraph group and click on the Expandable Dialog Box button. And here's our four options. Now, we have the indents and spacing, but we're on the Line and Page Break tab. So the four options include widow and orphan control. All that means is that the last line of a paragraph by itself at the top of the page is known as a widow. So if we go to the top of this page and we just have one line out of all these lines here in a paragraph, let, let's say we just had this last line, it was at the top of the page, that would be widow. What would make it orphan is that if there was just the first line in the paragraph at the bottom of the page. So all it's saying is that you're not going to have a line by itself within a paragraph if you click within the paragraph and you check that box. For example, let me click cancel and let's do, uh, let me hit enter a couple of times. And like I said, the whole purpose of widow and orphan, meaning that you won't have one line by itself because it doesn't look professional. It'll at least have great things come in pairs, so at least have a second line when it gets like this if I choose widow and orphan option. So here we go, we have a line just by itself up at the top of the page, and that means it's going to be a widow. So if I click anywhere within this paragraph, even down here, and I click the expandable dialog box button for paragraph, or I just went in doubt, right click on that paragraph, and go to left click on paragraph, it brings it up. And if I check this box, widow orphan control, then my widow is not going to be lonely anymore after I click OK because automatically it will take the next line so everybody's comfortable because now the widow is no longer lonely, no longer a widow. Now by the same token, if I go ahead and undo that, and in fact let's make an orphan now, let's come up here and push the paragraph more so we just have one line at the bottom of the first page. Any line that's by itself at the bottom of the page is going to be an orphan. It has nobody with it. So to keep them together, again, click within the paragraph, right click, go to paragraph, and say widow orphan control and click OK and then what it does is it takes the orphan that's by itself that lone line and keeps it together with the paragraph on the next page at the top. So let's go ahead and undo that a couple of times so we're back up to where we have our paragraph at the bottom of page one. Go back to our paragraph dialog box options here. Now keep with next. What that means is if I want one paragraph to be kept with the next paragraph for example, I'm looking at this paragraph at the bottom of page one, and it just happens so that this picture is in a paragraph by itself. Well, if this text, this paragraph, has some relevancy and explains and talks about the picture below, it doesn't make sense to keep them separated, where I have to keep scrolling between um, page one and page two to read about it and see the picture, read about it. No, let's keep them together. So I could check the box, keep with next, and then click OK, and automatically keeps this paragraph with the very next paragraph. How do I know? Well, if I turn on my show hide codes here in the paragraph group, shows me that this paragraph right here is tied to that paragraph. And you see this little box right here? That's not a bullet. That's actually a little symbol to say that the paragraph control is on. So if you try to delete it, forget it. Again, it's not a bullet that you would go into the paragraph and, and click on bullets. And the best way to tell is that when you turn off your show hide codes, while bullets would be there, it's not. Because it's just, a, like you said, a little symbol that says this is being kept together. So if you're annoyed with this and going, ah, oh, why can't I split these paragraphs? Well, you want to turn your show hide codes and see if you have a little square there. If you do, then you want to right click your paragraph and go down to paragraph and say don't keep with the next paragraph and then click OK and it bumps it back to where it was. Now, the next option, I'm going to click and scroll up here, is that if you hit enter a couple of times and let's say it's just splitting it down the middle of your paragraph. I mean, it's not an orphan alone by itself at the bottom of the page or a widow at the top of a page. It's just split down the middle. Well, if you want to keep your paragraph together so there's no splits whatsoever, you don't even have to worry about widow or orphans, go ahead and right click and let's go to paragraph. Our third option, which is keeping lines together, go ahead and check the box, click OK. Keeps everything together. There's my code to show that the paragraph control is on. It's one of the four options there, but nonetheless, there's some keeping uh, lines or paragraphs together with the next paragraph. In this case, it's keeping all the lines together within the paragraph so it doesn't break across the, the page here, the page break. Now, I'm going to go ahead and undo that and undo a couple of times. If it gets hard scrolling between pages, you can always double click on the uh, white space between pages. 
what it does is it gets rid of your margins so you can't tell the margins but and you can still see the break between pages it's always there but it just collapses it so you don't have to scroll up and down and have two inches of white space if that was your margin at the bottom of page one of one inch and the top of a page two the one inch we got them together of course you could always double click to expand them to go back to the way you had it before and then finally the uh, paragraph the last one is page break before so if I want to break before this paragraph here I'll click cancel click somewhere in the paragraph and then go ahead and check page break before this paragraph and automatically bumps the paragraph down so this is always going to be at the top because the page break is always going to be before the paragraph thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos